Guys, it's Andrew, Drew's Nitro. Hope you're having a great day. Today is part two of McKissick Beard and Mustache. This is a wonderful company out of Norman, Oklahoma. The owner's name is Janine. She is the mad scientist in the uh, relationship of her and her husband. Her husband is the man with the beard, her guinea pig, however you want to put it. I talked to Janine a few days ago and had a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Learned quite a bit about her, her husband, and their company. Again, like I said, they are out of Norman, Oklahoma. They go around uh, to different festivals, different craft fairs, all kind of places all over Oklahoma and quite a few of their surrounding states actually and they do really really well. She decided they wanted to do the internet side of it and voila! You can go to McKissickBeardAndMustache.com and you will find them. I do warn you that there is a company called McKissick Beard Company. It is not the same. There is no affiliation there, no, no nothing. So make sure you put the mustache part on there. All right, we've got the two ounce oils. Um, I've already covered all the prices in the previous video of this. Um, I don't know how to link anything up here yet. I am, again, just learning. But you can go back to the McKissick. It's all labeled and everything. And you can find out the prices, um, all that jazz. Today is mainly about my feedback and what I think of the products themselves. Um, I will go over the ingredients and then tell you of uh, I have the oil and I have the butter and I'll just kind of tell you how I felt about it, how I, my beard felt and all that good stuff. This is the ingredients are avocado oil, jojoba, ap apricot kernel, castor oil, safflower, saff uh, I can't even talk, safflower oil, rosemary oil extract and fragrance oils. Now, she does use essential oils and fragrance. Some of her scents are just essential, some are fragrance, and some are a little mix of both. And I think that's a really great idea because it kind of covers, you know, each person's individual likings. Um, and I, I just enjoy that in a company because sometimes I don't want an overpowering smell. Sometimes I like the stronger scents. Um, this is the blackberry scent. Um, it has a, a rose uh, also in there. It's in the scent profile. It's blackberry, rose, and it's a really, really nice floral scent. Uh, I've been using it mainly at nighttime because it's like, again, it's a nice relaxing scent and I thoroughly enjoyed that. The scent lasts around six six hours strong and then I could, you know, if the wind would blow by or I could lift up my, my beard and I could smell it for another couple of hours and it was really, really nice and enjoyable. The oil does not leave my beard greasy. Um, it left it feeling moisturized. It left it looking really great. Now, onto the butter. You get a butter in a three ounce metal tin, uh, which I always like. Uh, it's got the screw top on it. Sorry. I've used quite a bit of it, as you can tell. Now, <clears throat> the, uh, the scent in the butter is just a tiny bit stronger than the oil, which I actually like. I prefer my butters to have a really nice, strong scent. Uh, it just it makes, my, makes everything smell better. It makes my pillows case smell better. It, just in general, I like, to, I like stronger scents anyway. The ingredients on the butters are mango butter, avocado oil, apricot oil, castor oil, jojoba, Palm oil, coconut oil, lanolin, ca candelin, ca I can't even say it, C-A-N-D-E-L-I-L-L-A, wax, sorry, I'm just going to spell it out and not embarrass myself too much, potato starch, and rem remember that one because we're going to go back to that, rosemary extract, and fragrance oils. Okay, so you heard me say something that you've probably not heard in butter or oil very much. You may have seen it here or there, but not many of us have. So I, when I was talking to Janine, I said, corn st or potato starch, what's that for? Okay, potatoes have a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals in it, and it's very good for your skin. Um, it helps absorb some of the excess oils, and make sure you understand that I'm saying the word excess because it does not suck the oils out of your uh, beard, the, especially all the oils that you just put in or oils and stuff that are in the butter. It just pulls out the extra ones and leaves you with a nice natural looking beard, which I'm trying to go for right now. I like the natural look over the 1980s Jerry Curl Afro Sheen shine to it. You know what I mean? So the 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 butter is very nice it uh, leaves your beard super soft it has a slight hold to it i'm going to guess that's the wax in it and the uh, uh, starch also 
Um, I talked to uh, Dan C. So shout out to my brother Dan C. I did talk to him about the potato stars, just trying to you know get a little extra knowledge because he knows quite a bit about these things. He said that arrowroot powder, and then I mentioned cornstarch because I knew that that was used in certain companies. Um, all three of those are pretty much used for the same thing. The potato is just what Janine prefers. It's the, it's the more natural way to go about it, in, in my opinion. Um, but besides that, really, really great product. I definitely recommend McKissick Beard and Mustache. Um, when you are, if you do go to the website and order in the little notes section to the to the owner, you can type in you want your scent stronger or you want your scent lighter. She will do that. She did say that she would uh, ask that you know you you buy her products as they are first to test them out to see you know where the strength level is for each person because uh, scent is subjective, very much so, and I agree with her. Um, I am going to be purchase, purchasing from this company in the future, uh, but I do want to give a huge shout out to William Whitmore. Um, he's become a pretty good friend of mine on Instagram, and he does have a YouTube channel. Go check him out there also, but I just wanted to thank him for hooking me up with Miss Janine and the McKissick Beard and Mustache Company to be able to do a review for them and for all you guys, and I'm going to do kind of a one out of ten flyaways. We'll try something different, right? I'm going to give this a solid 7.5 flyaways. Um, you get it, flyaways on your beard. But I'm going to give it a solid 7.5. Um, there were small little things like, you know, labeling could be updated, which is something we did speak about. And she said that once her company gets a little bigger, of course she wants to look into. And she's also trying to find something that fits her, her um, aura, her feng shui, just her groove in life. So you can't really blame them for that. Besides that, guys, I hope you enjoy the uh, final thoughts of the McKissick Beard and Mustache Company. I hope you will leave a like. I hope you'll share. I hope you subscribe. If you don't like the video, please you know, leave a thumbs down and let me know why. Uh, I do love to have the, criticism, the constructive criticism. I like to learn. I'm having a lot of fun with these videos, and I hope you are also. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Much love, guys.